Our lesson for today is all about Right Triangle Similarity Theorem or also known as RTST. If the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, then the two triangles form are similar to the original triangle and to each other. If we have triangle ABC and we have altitude is drawn to our hypotenuse which is altitude AD, the altitude of a triangle or height is the distance from the vertex to the opposite sides of the triangle. And the two triangles are formed that is similar to each other. Let's have triangle ABC. And the two triangles form if we draw a altitude, we have triangle DAB and triangle DAC, which is triangle DAB is similar to triangle ABC and similar to triangle DAC. We have the special properties of right triangles. When the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, number one properties, the length of the altitude is the geometric mean between the segments of the hypotenuse and each leg is the geometric mean between the hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse that is adjacent to the leg. What do you mean by geometric mean? Geometric mean is the positive square root of the product of two numbers. Let's have this one. In triangle ABC, if we draw the altitude that is AD, then we form triangle DAB and triangle ABC, which is the original triangle. And we have triangle DAC. Let's have another one. If triangle DBA is similar to triangle ABC, therefore, AB corresponds to BC. And BD corresponds to AB. Therefore, we have AB over BC is equal to BD over AB. Apply all the value. We have AB over BC. AB is X. BC is 15. Is equal to BD over AB. BD is 3. And AB is X. Again, cross multiply. X times X, X squared. 15 times 3, yes, 45. Then square root both sides. Square root of X squared is equal to square root of 45. Square root of X squared, X is equal to. Since 45 is not a perfect square, you must find the factor of 45. 1 is a perfect square. 1 is not. That is 9 and 5. Therefore, square root of 9, 3. Square root of 5, 5 is not a perfect square. Remain inside the radical sign. Therefore, our value of x is x is equal to 3. Square root of 5. Let's have another one. If triangle ABC is similar to triangle DAC, therefore, AC corresponds to DC. And BC corresponds to AC. Then we have AC over DC. AC over DC is equal to BC over AC. Apply all the value. We have AC over DC. That is X over 12. And we have BC over AC. That is 15 over x, 
cross multiply, we have x times x, x squared. 12 times 15, 180. Then, square root both sides of our equation, we have square root of x squared is equal to square root of 180. Then, square root of x squared is x. Since 180 is not a perfect square, we have square root of Find the factor of 180, that is 36 and 5. Square root of 36 is 6. Square root of 5. 5 is not a perfect square. Remain inside in our radical sign. Therefore, we have x is equal to 6 square root of 5. <coughs> Stop. <coughs> Start. Let's have an example. Find for the value of x. Therefore, we have BD over AD. Okay. If we separate those two triangles, we have AD over DC. Again, we have BD, the shorter side of our first triangle over AD, the shorter side of our second triangle, and AD, the longer side of our first triangle over DC, that is the longer side of our second triangle. Now, we have apply all the values. BD over AD is 7 over X is equal to X over 9. Cross multiply X times X, X squared, 7 times 9, 63. Square root both sides, square root of X squared is equal to square root of 63. Square root of, okay x squared is x is equal to 63 is not a perfect square we need to find a factor of 63 one is a perfect square one is not therefore we have square root of 9 times 7 our final answer is x is equal to 3 square root of 7 let's have our second example we have triangle mat Okay, our altitude is AH. Therefore, to find the value of X, we have MH over AH is equal to AH over HD. Then, we have the value of MH is 16. Why? Because MT is 25, HD is 9. Okay, what do we add to 9 to become 25? Yes, that is 16. Therefore, MH is equal to 16. Now, we have MH over AH. The value of MH is 16 over the value of AH is X. is equal to AH over HT. Okay, again, AH is X and HT is 9. Cross multiply. We have x times x, x squared, 16 times 9 is 144. Square root both sides of our equation, we have square root of x squared is equal to square root of 144. Square root of x squared is x, square root of 144 is 12. Example number 3. We have triangle DEF. Okay? To find the value of x, we have df, df over ef is equal to ef over gf. Then apply all the values. df is 25 over ef is x is equal to ef 
is x over gm is 9. Cross multiply, we have x times x, x squared, 25 times 9 is 225, squared both sides. Square root of x squared is equal to square root of 225. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 225 is 15. The value of our x is equal to 15. Let's have another example. Okay. This given triangle, we have triangle WYZ. Therefore, to find the value of x in these sides, we have here WZ, okay, WZ, which is the hypotenuse of the original triangle, over ZY, the hypotenuse of the second triangle, is equal to ZY again, okay, ZY, that is for the original triangle itself over az that is for the second triangle next what is the value of wz 81 yan po 81 yan over okay hypotenuse no ating second triangle that is x is equal to okay we have x is zy for the original triangle over AZ. Okay. That is 45. Cross multiply. We have X times X. X squared. 81 times 45 is 3645. Then squared both sides. We have square root of X squared is equal to square root of 3645. Then, since 3645 is not a perfect square, we have square root of x squared is x is equal to square root of 729 times 5. Since 729 is a perfect square, we have x is equal to square root of 729 is 27 square root of 5. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 27 square root of 5. Let's have our final example, number 5. If we have triangle DEV, okay, and we have the altitude EL, we have to find the value of X, we have DL over EL is equal to EL over LV. Okay, then we have x over 12 is equal to 12 over 16. Cross multiply. We have x times 16 is 16x. 16 12 times 12 is, yes, 144. Divided both sides by 16. 16 divided by 16 is x. Is equal to 144 divided by 16 is 9. The value of our x is equal to 9. Now, it's your turn. Solve for the values of x, y, and z. If you know the answer, please comment down below. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to follow, like, and share my epi page at Matt with Sir JM. And subscribe my YouTube channel, Matt with Sir JM. Stay tuned for more videos. Baka mat yan.